Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Like I've got some things to do. <laughs> Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. So cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing, he should watch his back. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply.
advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? Nork. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. 
Almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork is toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. the dragon. You defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one, there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs, and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that, pussycat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. For 
Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new Super Portal technology. There! That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Dragons? Wonderful! Crush! Go back and pack my bags! We're moving in! Say hello to your new king! Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! Crush! Go through the portal, you idiot! Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! Now! Go! Crush! Get the orbs now! Now! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer?
been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you! Bring it on, shorty! Go! Come here now! Destroy him and make sure it's painful! What? Go! Get me out of here! So long, dragon! What a wuss! That Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! You won't get my last flag so easily, Purple Beast. that I found in the sand. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door and you can fight Go. Are you ready? You'll have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Gulp. We finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. Gulf, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Oh! You singed my cape! Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves! Say goodbye, flame breath! Gulp! <laughs> Lunch time! Gulp! Finish him off and you can have all the berries you can eat!
You did it! Whoa! Well, Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Ah, uh, no. I'd like to, but I've gotta go check on the professor in the Winter Tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so we can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Uh-huh. Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the Dragon Worlds from the Super Portal. This Power Crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the Power Crystal boosting it, the Super Portal should work again. Oh! <gasps> So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! Uh, hey! Give that back! <laughs> well, I tried. Ah-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! ha <laughs> 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 As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory, and here we thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I would advise using the bombs against it, and it will probably take several bombs at that. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. All right, Spyro. Now that you've got the orbs, Ripto's demise is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. Here you go. 
useless animals! Hey, Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm, I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! We want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the Professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy. So you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before.
I don't think we could ever thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Uh, Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yeah! Well done, Spyro. Step right into Dragon Shores Park. By the way, if you win 10 tokens, you can visit our theater. the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Where are the eggs? Dragon Worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it! Yeah. Ludo the Rhinoch has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end.
dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness, but he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him! Uh... Kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat! As long as you get rid of him! Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm, this ought to do it. You can't keep me caged up in here forever! <laughs> you there! Get me out of here! This is unacceptable! You! Come here! <laughs> Oh my. What the devil? When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us.
bumbling, idiotic, worthless fool! I asked you to carry out one simple task and you fail me! I should have known better than to rely on a child. But don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. These eggs can't be worth all this trouble. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever slim chance of becoming a sorceress! Now, watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. Release me from this cage, you merciless miscreants! How would you like some dragon for lunch? <laughs> 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 Why, if I had my club, you'd all be in for... instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight! Received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a Yeti. That dumb Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back and you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. I knew you'd do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Wait a minute. He 
This isn't my ball. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. This time, it'll be a three-round match. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time. it out of the molten lava.
Hello. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes, this was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry. I can't. That's it! I've had enough! I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters! <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings! Yes, yes! It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them. Oh, yes. Smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them. Let me out of here, you! But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as I can still collect their wings. What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl! I need them for a spell so I can live forever! Uh, wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, if I had my blaster, you'd be singing a different tune! You know what I mean? You said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them! I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Oh, uh, 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 this is gonna get real ugly. <laughs> This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Did you bring any more food? Oh, I'm starving. 
There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. <gasps> She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <sighs> I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this.
Pyro, you've just defeated a sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What do you plan to do next, hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in dragon shores, hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? What? Me? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> if I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. Yeah, by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Laura, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with him. Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoc? Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoc boy? Eight laser punk? Come on now. No fair hiding. Hey, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Now, how many times have I told you not to taste that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. They... <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you! Your best chance at defeating her is my flying saucer. I've cast some spells to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time. But the rest is up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 